We're coming to you from the two Mississippi museums here in Jackson, where galleries tell the history about the civil rights era, and where stories are also told about people who helped shape our state. Tonight at 10, Jackson's water is still not safe to drink. Now state and city leaders are coming together to fix the problems, but how long will it take? When are we gonna get our water back online? When can we get off this pool of water notice? And when can we move on with our lives? It's just unreal, you know, for us to have to go through this and not do say us. Or we could slip into melancholy because of the short days and the long nights and the clouds and the cold and the blazing autumn that we've left far behind by now. The trees having more than three quarters of the way fallen into bare branches in the bleakness of winter. We could just be celebrating nothing but the blahs every year this time of year. We could do that, except for Christmas. What the trees in our yards lack in greenery this time of year is easily made up for in the holly and the ivy decking the halls in every store in every house. Breaking news this evening. Oh, that's right. Ole Miss defeats <laughs> Oklahoma and Omaha winning the College World Series. Woohoo! We have live team coverage in Omaha and Oxford. The Lambs get high! The Lambs get high! Oh, Hello, Holly Toddy! Woo! Let's go, Rebels, baby! <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good, I'm, I'm, I'm excited, I'm elated, I, I'm anticipating. What is your call to action for these folks this season? First of all, let's get that business straight. Let, let's get the entrances to the stadium correct. Well, to an update, there has been a very special delivery to a Wisconsin man thanks to a Florence, Mississippi couple's discovery in Alabama. The denture adventure has come to an end as owner Randy Williams has been reunited with his dentures after losing them while vacationing in Gulf Shores. Oh, they're here. Thank you, Aaron and Blair. <laughs> <laughs> There are very few things in life that ever turn out to be phenomenally successful that were ever planned out by a committee. Woodstock comes to mind. It sort of just happened, like the St. Patty's Parade. Crosby, Stills, and Nash said by the time they got to Woodstock, they were half a million strong. Well, at Jackson St. Patty's Parade, by the time we got to State Street, we were 75,000 strong. No, not half a million, no, but 75,000 is a third of the current population of Jackson. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Sip live from the Natural Science Museum. This morning, my goal is to get you outside into some of the things that we do in Mississippi, including fishing. All right, we're still on our journey to the North Pole. Coming up after the break, we're going to find out what it's all about. Oh, that was the practice slide before the big boy. <laughs> Stay with us. Woo! I did it for real. Okay, well, I'm not sure about piloting just yet, but I will ride again and you'll see part two of that experience coming up after the break. Stay with us. <laughs> Fast forward a few weeks following our news report, and there's been quite an improvement. Do you think uh, 12 News got results? Of course. Of course. That's the only way you're going to get it going. If you have some reporters coming out here and, you know, putting it on television and letting them know what's going on. Tonight, we'll hear from Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman, MDOT Commissioner Willie Simmons, and Scott Waller of the Mississippi Economic Council. If you live in or near any of those locations, you need to take shelter right now from the storm. So where do you go in the event of a tornado? The best option is going to be the most interior room of your home. And if you're in a mobile home, uh, you have to get out of the mobile home and into a sturdy structure. We are concerned now that this could could possibly be a tornado on the ground. So if you are in this area, I mean, we've been telling you for several uh, minutes now that you need to get in your safe spot. If you've been to a game, you've probably seen Evan. Sunglasses, headphones, cheering on the Braves, a loyal fan. He knows things about our team that I don't even know. Evan is probably the biggest Braves fan there is. He also has autism, something he deals with every day. And if you notice, Evan's wearing headphones. He's listening to the Mississippi Braves broadcast called by Chris Harris, waiting for his favorite call. Kiss it goodbye. <laughs> Kiss it goodbye. What better way to help us draw out our conclusions about the sketchiness of this bridge than to invite someone who draws and sketches for a living to help us? And so it is with pleasure that I introduce you to my friend, artist, Marshall Ramsey, who takes the storyteller's chair. This is a story that begins with neither once upon a time nor it was a dark and stormy night. Ken? Yeah, wetter day for today, but that's what we were expecting. A better chance of scattered storms, about a 50 to 60 percent chance. Hey, come on, buddy. Let's do this weather here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, you talk we're and gonna I... do the weather together because he's got the mic. <laughs> All right, let's step out of the way here. 